In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a table of figures. In the previous tutorial, um, you've uh, seen how we can create a table of contents, right, automatically and manually. So if you have a bunch of pictures in your document, in your research proposal, or your research paper, uh, or article that you're writing, or blog that you're writing, it's much easier to work with table of figures uh, instead of manually trying to insert a, a subheading uh, for a specific image or picture. Okay, So let me uh, demonstrate this to you right now. This is our sample document open. I've already opened it. Okay, and uh, same headings, same everything, just like in previous tutorials. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert two pictures, and I will demonstrate along the way how to create a table of figures at the end. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I like to insert a picture here right after introduction. I like a nice image here to show the introduction. Straightforward. I just go up to my insert tab and in my illustrations group insert pictures okay here are some sample pictures that I have so how about um, hey I like this I like this cat okay so let's insert this cat here uh, make it smaller okay. and work we uh, work with some of the options of the picture itself uh, how to place the picture how to change the picture I can do that um, and again, this this is pretty uh, pretty straightforward when you're working with it. Okay, so once I've inserted the picture, do this. I can uh, position the picture wherever I want, the way I want it to be. Um, so let's do this, like this, and again, Word 13 automatically does it, or you can manually do it from from the uh, from your editing page. When you double click on the picture, it brings up the formatting tab, and here you can format the picture. Uh, however you want um, you can play with it it just depends on uh, you know what type of picture style you want in your in your work so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, let's see which one looks much better how about okay how about this all right so I've inserted a picture nice picture in my introduction tab uh, what if I want to label this picture right what is this picture all about what is this figure what do I want to call it how do I work with it okay so notice there's no space here on the bottom, so I can cannot really label this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to eventually create a list of all the pictures. What if I have over 50 pictures in my um, research proposal or document or my article? Um, how would I uh, sequentially keep track of them? Okay, and this is exactly what I'm going to show you now. So first, we insert a picture. Once you've inserted the picture, uh, let's go to our references tab. And uh, notice I'm interested in this captions group, okay, where it says insert table of figures okay, and insert caption. Now, obviously, we have to insert captions first before we insert table of figures. So first, when we insert a caption, it basically labels our picture. So once you've added a caption, you can reference your object anywhere in your document by inserting a cross reference. So um, I can uh, jump from picture to picture or reference this picture at later points in the uh, later uh, areas within my document. All right, so here's my picture. I select the picture, click insert caption, and Word automatically pops up a dialog box, caption dialog box, and uh, it fills up with this custom field, which is figure one. Okay, I can label, change labels. Okay, I can say shape one, I can say equation one, table one, figure one, and so forth. Or I can create my own new labels. Okay, whichever I want. Um, I can also number it. So I, if I don't want figure one, uh, if I want figure A, or figure Roman numeral I, okay, I can do that. Okay. Um, if I if I'm working with uh, different chapters, working on my uh, thesis or dissertation or, or long document, different document, different chapters, I can specify a chapter starts with style heading one and use a separator as well, depending on the type what I want. So in this example, I'll just pick format one, two, three, which is fine. Figure one. Notice the auto caption button here. Uh, this is very handy, especially when you're using many uh, images within your document. So Word is going to automatically keep numbering those. Okay. So for example, I've checked this up to be a bitmap bitmap image since I've inserted an image. So once I check this box and click OK, Word is uh, is going to automatically insert 
figure one, and then my next picture is going to be figure two, and then the following picture would be image would be figure three, and so on. Okay, so you don't have to manually enter the numbers. Okay, and that's all this does. So once I've specified, I click OK, and you see that figure one is now inserted under my picture because I want it to be below. I can have it on the top as well. Okay, and that was one of the options. So once I've inserted the picture, notice. Word brings up its own uh, text box. If I wish, I can group these two together so they stick together, or I can leave it as it is. It depends. So, to grouping is very easy. You just select this text box, just figure one, hold the control key on the keyboard, and select the picture. Notice how it highlights both of them. You right click anywhere within the picture frame, and then you say group. So, you group them. So notice this entire picture, including the table of contents, is part of one group. So if I move it anyway, um, the, the figure one also moves it. So just a quick tip I wanted to show you. All right, so here's my first picture. Let me go down to my next heading. Uh, here I like to insert another picture. So I go back to my insert menu and I'm looking for my picture. Okay, insert picture, same thing. Uh, this time I'm going to insert a nice sunflower here. All right, so fix the wrapping here. Wrapping, okay. Oops. Wrap here. Okay, here's my picture. So notice if I double click, it brings up the formatting tools. If I click once, it does the same thing. So double click means editing. If you click once, where it brings up the editing tools, okay. Um, so picture frame symmetry. Go back up to my. Uh, References tab and add, insert a caption. And notice this time when I insert a picture, Word, Word automatically says figure two, okay, because that's auto captioning. Okay. Click OK. Scroll down to my third heading. Do the same exercise again. Insert picture. How about a nice bicycle here? Text wrapping. Do some quick formatting here with my picture. Okay. And I'm going to apply the same uh, style. Okay, there it is. Go back up to my references tab and enter a uh, caption. So you get the idea, right? So uh, this way, uh, within your document, you can insert as many pictures as you want, wherever you want them, and you can um, create, um, uh, start inserting captions. But once you're done uh, with your pictures, go back up to wherever you want uh, your table of figures to be. So let's say I wish to insert the table of figures right above my introduction. Um, so you place the insertion point wherever you want the table of figures to be. And go back up to your under references tab and captions group. This time we are going to use insert table of figures. Okay, and the reason why because we're done with the insert caption, right? So we have we have uh, inserted captions figure one, two, three, and so on on all these images. Uh, once you're done, you go back up to wherever you want the table of figures to be to place them, and click on insert table of figures on the captions group on the ribbon. Once I do this, Word brings up a dialog box, table of figures, and it asks me and shows me a preview of what my table of figures is going to look like. Okay. Uh, so for instance, if I would like to show page numbers, it's going to display the page numbers. If I wish to use the hyperlinks instead of page numbers, in this example, I'm not going to use hyperlinks because I used it earlier in the previous tutorial. Show page numbers, that's fine. I'm going to pick a template. Formal, same template that we picked earlier, so we keep our symmetry together. And tab header, I think this is what we used earlier. And notice how, once I make the changes, how Word shows me the preview. Okay? So this is what, on the right side, this is what it's going to look like on the web. Okay? So if you were to publish this document on your website, on your blog, this is what it's going to look like. Okay? And if I use hyperlinks, this is what it's going to look like. Now on the left side, this is how uh, it's going to look like on my uh, within my documents. I have a couple of options here. Um, 
simply build table of figures from balloon text, my style. So again, if I have a, a preset style made for my table of figures, I can use that. I can pick that okay, from the styles. If not, what would default to, so whichever that is. Okay. All right, so once I'm uh, done configuring the options, I click OK, and Word automatically creates the table of figures for me. So we give this a heading, table of figures. Okay. Remove this extra line, and here we are. This way, it's now going to update automatically. So for instance, uh, we have three figures, right? Figure one, figure two, figure three. Uh, let's, let me scroll down, okay, a couple of pages down here, in the next heading, and I'm gonna show you something. So here, for example, uh, I just remembered that I'm gonna insert another picture. So do the same exercise again, insert, and then go to picture. How about this circle of the stairs here? Okay, do some quick formatting. Bring it down here. Notice how Word, how comfortably you can move and work with uh, Word 13. It's, it's uh, really nice. Okay, do some quick formatting here. Okay, this is the style that we used. And once I've selected my picture, go back up to References tab and insert a caption. And notice Word again automatically pulls up and says, hey, it's figure number four. So not to worry. Click OK. And here's my figure four. And let me go back up to my table of figures here. Notice, even though I have four images, but the table of figures only displays figure one, two, and three. Why is that? You know this, right? Because we have to update the table, remember? Uh, this is the table of figures and we update. And the way we update is a couple of ways. First, you can use your keyboard, hit F9, and boom, you're gonna have to see updates. Or you can right click anywhere within the table of figures and update field. So your choice. As Soon as I do this, it asks me do I want to update page numbers only or update the entire table, which is what I want. Click OK, and boom, figure four is on page six. Okay, so powerful way of inserting table of figures, working with figures, and notice if I change something, the table is going to update. All I have to do is just hit F9 on my keyboard or update the table. Let's take a short quiz.